Hi lovely viewers, it's me again your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. Going straight to the point, going straight to the reason why we are here today. Number one, I want to commend, I, I want to say congratulations to Mr. Jason Chipepo for the reinstatement back into Zambian police and the, the promotion that was given to him. I want to say a very big thank you to the president, President Raka in the Chile. This is one man that really loved the people. You see, the issue of love, loving the people, you cannot pretend about it. You cannot, it's not something that you pretend about. Loving the people is, is, is natural. You can see that this guy loved the people. And this is why we are here to protect him. President Hakain De Chilema, thank you for reinstating Mr. Chipepo and promoting him. As a as an inspector, I'm so grateful. This is one man that resigned from his work and had the courage to go and protest, protesting against corruption that was taking place at the at the at the police, protesting against the corruption and the cadarism that was taking place at the police. He was arrested several times. And each time he could speak to me, he said, Papa, look at this, see what, what, what. I said, relax. You are going to get back there. And in fact, it's going to be big. I trust the president of Zambia, President Taka in the HLM. He will take you back. And this time you are going to go back as a big person. And true to my word and my encouragement, today he has been restated and promoted. When he gave me the news, I could not wait. I, I, I was like a mad person. I didn't know how to thank President Taka in the HLM, you know. I didn't know what to say. I was all over jumping. <laughs> because this is going to give hope for most of the people that lost their job because of tribalism and because of because of Fendi Galungu and his people, because of criminality, the appointment, the reappointment of Mr. Chipepo has given courage to so many of them. So I want to say thank you so much, His Excellency, for listening to the people and bringing back Mr. Chipepo in the system. I, if, if, if I, if I, if I know what you like so much, I was going to buy it and give it to you. But I don't know what you like. I'm only saying thank you, His Excellency. I'm going to remove my cap for you. May God bless you for that and for what you have done. And many, many other things that you are going to do. Secondly, we want to go into what, the, what brought us here today. Which is very, very important. Now, a uh, few days ago, on my page, I, I gave a prophecy of what I saw in the realm of the spirit that uh, was happening and that has been planned to happen. When I said, President Akainde Echilema is going to rule Zambia for 10 years, and after that, UPA, uh, uh, Tassila Lungu is going to take over PF, rebrand it, and win and become a president. And many people say, hey, Siawan, Siawan has been bribed. Siawan, Siawan has been paid. <laughs> Siawan has been, this Siawan has been that. Sia, uh, 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 Tassila Lungu has gone to meet Siawan, and uh, Siawan is, is working with PF, and Siawan is going to work with PF. <laughs> And when I look at it, I laugh. Tassila <laughs> Lungu did not come to meet me. I don't even know how. We don't talk anyway. And uh, 
that's that's by the way we don't have any business i've never met her before and uh, we will never meet because if Tassila Lungu becomes the president of Zambia, Edgar Lungu automatically becomes a president of Zambia. And all of you know that Edgar Lungu is my greatest enemy. What happens in the realm of the spirit when prophecy comes? It's very simple. When you, when you see a person like Siawan, that once he gives prophecy, it comes to pass. I say, well, anything I tell you, anything I say, come to pass. I've never missed a prophecy since I was born. Once I tell you this is what I've seen in the realm of the spirit. A wise person was going to ask okay, see our ones, we have heard what you have said. What can we do? Because we don't want, me myself, I, I don't want anything from Eddie Galungu to ever come to power again. Do you know what Eddie Galungu did to me? Do you know that if Tassila Lungu wins and become president today, do you know what is going to happen to me? <laughs> don't think that I'm a fool. Don't think that don't think that I'm not wise. I am very wise. Edgar Lungu has betrayed me before. When he was a nobody. And he became president and he betrayed me. So if today I I decided to say, okay, let me work with Tassila. And you wait with Tassila. What is the guarantee that you will not betray me again? <laughs> it's a betrayer. It's a family of betrayers. So what I saw in the realm of the spirit is something that should worry everybody. Something that should worry me. Something that should worry you. It's not something to come out and say, eh, that can never happen. Eh, eh, that can never happen. Eh, they have bribed C1. They didn't bribe me when they had money. PF as we are talking today, they are they are shells. They are shells. The 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 time they had money. The time I was in South Africa bombarding them. The time they used my government to tell me to collect money from them and stop fighting them and support them. My own government. What are you mad? What is so evident? Can I lie against my own government? Over 7,000 people are watching this broadcast. My government people are watching this broadcast. I lie against them. Saying that they, they came to my house in Limpopo and told me to sit down with Edgar Lungu and settle with them and take compensation. Am I lying? The Minister of Consular, Mrs. Chendo, was there as the head representative for my government. They told me to settle with them. They told me to take compensation and stop fighting them and actually work with them. My government told me. So that time when they had these billions, that time when even my government was involved, I did not betray HH to go and collect money from them. So it is today now that HH is the president that I'm supposed to also eat <laughs> because I've worked. Now that I'm supposed to eat, this is when I can betray the president. <laughs> Sometimes use your brain when he when he was nowhere when hh was nowhere when many of you left him and they ran away eh? only see one was the voice that was speaking calling the youths to unite and vote at pf and the, and then uh, uh prophet abraham from from india i think prophet abraham angel from india and a few other prophets that stood together with me and said HH was going to win. We did not abandon him when he was a nobody. When his closest friends were running away from him, when Mr. Kakuma ran away from him, when GBM ran away from him, Chishimba Kambri was talking to me every blessed day. I was the one begging him to sit and support uh, Aka in the Echilema. Eh? I didn't abandon him by then. Eh? And I didn't abandon him when uh, I, I was calling on Nefes Mumba. I was looking at Nefes Mumba uh, 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 yesterday. Or the day before yesterday, campaigning for HH. I was looking at him as a potential vice president because I called him with my phone. He spoke to me. I told him, support this guy. HH will be the president. Many people 
when he had nothing, absolutely nothing, when he was no president, I was supporting him. I couldn't betray him. Now that he's a president is when I will betray him. <laughs> Am I mad? I'm not mad. When I gave a prophecy of what I've seen in the realm of the spirit, the question you should ask, Papa, how can we stop it? Let me tell you something that you don't know. Me, myself, would not love to be alive and see PF take over power again. Even if not PF, anything close to Lady Galungu. Because we saw the corruption that we, we, we happened in the previous government. If they get in there now, what they will do is finish. I wouldn't like to be alive to see them take over. So when I saw in the spirit, I told you that unless this girl is arrested, persecuted and put in jail and conv convict, barred from contesting election, you don't understand how politics works. And you don't understand how spiritual things works. Let me tell you what is happening now, if you don't know. In PF, as we are speaking today, today, listen, write down this thing and listen very carefully. In PF, as we are speaking today, there is three groups of people that have come out from PF. I told you that PF is going to divide in pieces. There are three groups of people that have come out in PF government. First group is the group that is supporting Eddie Galungu. Because the Chinese people, Chinese government representatives, Chinese businessmen and women have promised Eddie Galungu that in the year 2026, they are going to finance the campaign for PF, for PF to uh, take over power again in the land of Zambia so that they can finish where they stopped. This meeting is going on even as we are talking today. Chinese government is willing to sponsor PF. The 2026 election is going to be money. PF is going to buy votes. When I say buying of votes, it's not one 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 quarter, two two quarter. They will be giving bundles of money. They have been promised by the Chinese. This is people that are supporting Eddie Galung. Eddie Galungu is aware of what I'm talking about. I want you to monitor the movement of Eddie Galungu. Those of you that think that CR1 is stupid or CR1 is just talking. I don't just talk. If I'm talking, look at how many people that are watching me today. 8,000 people turned in and watching. They don't watch me because I like talking. There are so many people that are talking, they can watch. They, are, they know that what I'm talking is reality. Watch the movement of Eddie Galungu now. From now going on. Eddie Galungu is going to be dressing like, you know, very simple dressing, and he'll be going from church to church. He'll be going from compound to compound. He'll be meeting people on the street. Watch out! I am exposing him now, and even if I say it, he will still do it. Because Chinese have promised to sponsor their campaign to take over power in the year 2026. But that will happen if I am dead. So long as I'm alive, Akai Dechilema is going to rule for 10 good years. And because I love him, if he finish ruling and say, I, I want this person, if he him himself single-handedly pick a person that we can trust, we are going to support that person. But the way it is, see what is happening. In 2026, PF is going to run multi-billion, billion quarter campaign. They will buy, when I say buying vote, it's not just, it's not like what happened the previous time, no. When I say buying vote, they are going to have a lot of money. Chinese is, 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 is packaging themselves to sponsor PF back into power. Don't say that I did not warn you. They are going to sponsor Eddie Galungu or anybody that Eddie Galungu will anoint to take over. That is why now, as we are talking today, PF has divided into two, into three. One of them are those that are supporting Eddie Galungu. The other one are those that are supporting Chishimba Kambuit. And the other one are those that want to go into, 
into uh, into. But what I'm trying to say is that this guy's PF has divided into three. One is supporting Edgar Lungu. The other one is supporting uh, Chishin Bakamburi. And the other one want to cross over to UPND. Now, those that are supporting Edgar Lungu are those that will receive funding from China. I am telling you billions upon billions upon billions have been mapped out to, to, for the campaign. The campaign will be very aggressive. Already, Edgar Lungu has started. He has started going from, from place to place. You will always be seeing him. Watch out. There will even be a Facebook page. You will be seeing his activity. He will just be going here and going here, you know, touching the people, trying to be humble. He's not humble. Edgar Lungu is a crook. Edgar Galungu is a, is a lion in sheep's clothes. Be very careful. He will come to you like he's humble. He has started again because Chinese have agreed to sponsor his campaign. 2026 is going to be tough. But I want to say again that PF is, unless I'm dead, even if all the opposition in Zambia come together, like I said before, when there was no hope for it, even if everyone come together and vote for them, they will not win. Akai Nechilema is going to rule Zambia for complete 10 years. And after that, we'll take it from there. This is what is happening. People in the UPND must wake up and start seeing things exactly the way it is. There is a group that is supporting Tishimba Kambudu, a group that is supporting uh, 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 Edgar Lungu, and there is a group that want to jump now and jump into, into UPND. This you must be careful of. When you see Edgar Lungu coming to you on the street, start trying to take pictures with venerable children, trying to behave like he's buying mango, he's eating mango on the street and trying to play with the children. Remember that this is a lion coming, pretending to be a, 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 a sheep. If he will eat you, if you get close, I know what I'm talking about. I've dealt with him before. So be careful of this. And concerning Tassila Lungu, Tassila Lungu becoming the president of Zambia, I want you to understand how politics works. I want you to understand how how politics works in Africa especially. When the reason why PF came into power and removed uh, uh, MMD is because MMD was very corrupt and their president then was Rupi Abanda. And when Sata came into power, Sata said when i am elected i am going to arrest these guys and i'm going to put them in jail and when he came into power he arrested them and things were going on well and so on and so forth until Edgar galungu came and took over power when Edgar galungu came and took over power he acquitted Europea banda his children and so on and so forth Europea banda became a hero for the people of Zambia today. Rupi Abanda and his children stole a lot of money in Zambia. That's why his children ran away from Zambia after Sata won election. If their hands were clean, they were not going to run away. They ran away because they stole a lot of money. Through Dorasilia, they sold Zamtel. There is a lot and a lot of crime they committed. Those guys who served in MMD then, including the the, the present finance minister now this guy stole a lot of money they stole a lot and a lot of money from the people of Zambia but because in Africa we have short memory once we take power from them they know how to behave like mm, mm, and we forgive them and once we forgive them they become heroes when Eddie Galungu was campaigning I think in 2016 or 2015 if I'm not mistaken Rupia Banda took him. The same person that stole a lot of money from the people of Zambia took him and took him around Zambia. And many people voted for Ed, uh, 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 Ed Galungu because of Rupia Banda. Forgetting that Rupia Banda stole a lot of money. That's how Africa politics works. Forgetting that he stole a lot of money and he won election. This is what is going to happen. 
with the finance with the finances of Chinese and the pity and the uh, 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 and the sympathy that Teddy Galungu is going to gather if he doesn't win in 2020, 2026, he will support the daughter to take over in 2031. Believe me, through that sympathy and a lot of youths that will vote, forgetting all the crime that Teddy Galungu committed, this game is going to go through. So for us to stop that from happening, is to make sure that of all the whole crimes that she committed, she must be pinned and the bad from contesting. This is the only way that we are going to stop it. Many of you that are hearing what I'm saying will come back and say, Sia one said it. Sia one said it. Take my words very, very serious. Take my words very, very serious. This is exactly what I'm telling you. This is how politics is done. I'm telling you, vote of sympathy does a lot in Africa. Today, as I'm talking to you today, many people are seeing Eddie Galungu now as a hero. Anytime he comes, people are feeling pity for him. Once Eddie Galungu is arrested now, you will see many people say, ah, why are you persecuting the Why are you persecuting Forgetting that he is a criminal. He stole a lot of money from the people. That is politics. I'm telling the gospel truth. That is politics. And they have understood it. And also, they are going to invest a lot on social media. Get ready to be seen at Galungu regularly on social media through Muebantu. Through Smart Ego. And so many, they will, be, they will flood social media. They are, they are going to pay people millions. They are preparing. Don't think that these guys are sleepy. I'm telling you, don't think that PF, PF people are sleeping. They are not sleeping. When Aka in the won election, they were all afraid. They were shaking. They were shivering. They have had meetings, series of meetings, and they have come back to fight. It's not going to be easy. But they are going to divide. One will support the Galungu. One will support Chishim Bakambur. And the other one will jump into UPND. Now, Coming to jumping into UPN, this is where I'm having a very big problem. Let me, let me, let me, let me ask this question to the UPND government. Why are you in a haste to accept people to come and join your party now? <coughs> why are you why what is what do you want does it mean that you don't have people in the party i want to believe that president hh is not aware of what is happening he's not aware that criminals are now coming into the party now if you are allowing these people to come in now it's not even one year you are not one year in power I'm not talking about HH because believe me, HH is not aware of all these things. If HH is aware, he can never allow somebody like Rashida to come into the party without proper examination. I really am not, uh, it's not aware. Even those people that are blaming him, stop blaming him. I can, this one, I can hold my chest and say that HH is not aware that Rashida has joined UPN. Now, you are allowing these people to come into the party what do you want from them eh? like what do you want UPND you are a party that people of Zambia voted they they believe that this is a corrupt free party this is at least will breathe now from corruption and then within a space of five you are not even one year in power and they are allowing these corrupt people go to come and join all right that's all right for you today lovely viewers if you did enjoy the video please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below i'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers 
Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you. Peace. I gotta go.